Now it will be explained in such a way the electrons present in the inner shells screen or shield the force of attraction of nucleus felt by the valence shell electrons. Do you know what is the valence shell? The outermost shell of an atom is known as valence shell. Like here, this is the nucleus of an atom and there are number of shells present around the nucleus. So the outermost shell will be known as valence shell. Here two shells are present but this will be the valence shell and electrons will move out or add up in this shell. So we can say that valence shell can take part in bonding while the inner shells just reduces the effective nuclear charge on the electrons which are present in the valence shell. Definitely the nucleus is present in the center and if I fill up number of electrons in the inner shells, so these electrons will shield the effective nuclear charge over the valence shell electrons and it will easy to remove out an electron from the valence shell. So in this, what is effective nuclear charge? It is the net positive charge experiences by an atom in a poly electronic atom. So now poly electronic means number of electrons, multiple electrons which are present in an inner shell of an atom and definitely they will reduce the charge of nucleus over the outermost shell of electrons. Now a very repetitive question which used to come in exams is that what is the other name of effective nuclear charge? So students always remember effective nuclear charge can also be known as core charge and it is symbolized as Z effect. Effective nuclear charge can be measured by oxidation number of an atom. Now greater the effective nuclear charge the more strongly the outermost electrons are attracted to the nucleus and definitely if outermost electrons are attracted towards the nucleus the size of an atom will decrease. Atomic radius decreases from left to right in a period. If I talk about group number 1 and group number 2, they will lose 1 and 2 electrons. So their oxidation number will be positive 1 and positive 2. It means that the outermost electrons of, of group number 1 and group number 2 are feeling less effective nuclear charge than as compared to group number 17 like chlorine has an oxidation number of negative 1 and it means that chlorine is not losing its electrons it is gaining one electron in its outermost shell so in this way we can understand by means of oxidation number that what is the effect of nuclear charge on the outermost electron, whether the electron is losing or it's gaining. Now Z effect can be measured by this simple formula where Z stands for effective nuclear charge and S stands for shielding effect. Now if I do a comparison between the nuclear charge and the effective nuclear charge. So the nuclear charge is the electric charge of the nucleus of an atom. Simply 
the attraction of protons towards the electrons and if i talk about effective nuclear charge remember it is always less than actual nuclear charge because effective nuclear charge will be experienced on the outermost electrons so definitely the nuclear charge on the outermost electron will decrease due to the shielding effect due to number of shells which are present between the nucleus and the valence shell of an atom a very interesting term used for the electrons which are present between the nucleus and the valence shell do you know this term yes this is intervening electrons so the electrons present between the nucleus and the outermost electrons are known as intervening electrons let's discuss trends of shielding effect in periods so now you have to be more attentive shielding effect remains same along the period because the number of shell will remain same along the period if i talk about period number 2 it means that two shells will be present in all the elements which are present in period number 2 so if shell is not increasing how it could be possible that shielding effect would increase so that's why along the period whether it is period number 2 period number 3 or period number 4 the shielding effect remains same in a particular period and if i change the period if i have moved from period number 1 to period number 2 in that case shielding effect will increase because now we are adding one more shell and if i move to period number 3 i am adding one more shell so along the period from left to right in a periodic table shielding effect will remain same and the second very important thing is effective nuclear charge now when we move from left to right in a period atomic number increases it means that the number of protons are increasing and you know it very well that the number of protons are always equal to the number of electrons in an atom so definitely if number of protons are increasing number of electrons are also increasing so effective nuclear charge increases in periods as electron shielding remains constant now the shells are not increasing but the number of protons are increasing so definitely they will attract electrons more strongly and the size of an atom will gonna reduce a higher effective nuclear charge causes greater attraction to the electrons pulling the electronic cloud closer to the nucleus which results in smaller atomic radius let's discuss it by means of electronic structure now here period number 2 in period number 2 the shell will not change so definitely if shell is not changing shielding effect will remain same but if i talk about nuclear charge so the effective nuclear charge will increase when we move in periods from left to right like here lithium has number of protons 3 and it has number of electrons also 3 and if i talk about beryllium it has 4 in boron it has 5 and in fluorine it is 9 now what is happening the number of protons are increasing and the number of electrons are also increasing so when number of protons are increasing the effective nuclear charge 
will also increase. Similarly, in period number 3, the number of shells will remain 3 along the period, but as the atomic number is increasing, the effective nuclear charge will increase. The trends of shielding effect in groups. Shielding effect increases from top to bottom due to addition of shells. Have you ever think that why we have added shells in groups? Because in groups, atomic number is increasing by intervals, while in case of periods, the atomic number is increasing regularly. So, we do not need to add shells, while in case of groups, as there is a big interval between the atomic numbers of atoms. So, to accommodate more and more electrons, we have to add more and more shells. So, as the size of an atom is increasing, definitely it is easy to take away an electron. The shielding effect is also known as screening effect. This is group number 1. Lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium and francium. And here we have to go with 3 elements. Like lithium has an atomic number 3, while sodium has an atomic number 11, potassium has an atomic number 19. Are they increasing regularly? No, the atomic number is increasing with a big interval. After 3 comes 4, but here is 11 and after 11 it comes 12, but here is 19. So, definitely if atomic number is increasing, the number of electrons and the number of protons are also increasing. And to accommodate all these electrons, we have to add up the shell. To add the shell means to increase the shielding effect. Lithium in represents two shells. It accommodates its electrons in two shells, while sodium has 11 electrons and it will accommodate its 11 electrons in three shells. And if I talk about potassium, it has atomic number 19. So, it will accommodate its electrons in four shells. So, in this way, when we move from top to bottom in a group, the principal quantum number will increase and the shielding effect will also increase. Similarly, if I talk about group number 2, so in group number 2, beryllium has an atomic number 4, while magnesium has an atomic number 12 and calcium has an atomic number 20. Again, as the number of electrons are increasing with interval, so more and more shells will come to accommodate all these electrons. Increasing the number of shells means that the shielding effect is increasing. So, in a nutshell, when we move from left to right in a period, shielding effect will remain same, while the effective nuclear charge will increase. And if we move from top to bottom, shielding effect will increase, while the effective nuclear charge will decrease, because the outermost electrons will move away from the nucleus. Thank you so much. Keep watching for more videos.